Um, takeaway is that increasingly FIs recognize that banking and payment systems have not kept up with the pace of advancements in the digital economy and in trading. Ecom operates 24 seven cross border relatively inexpensively. Trading, the front office is automated, there's low latency. Then you switch gears, banks operate still typically in terms of batch processing, store and forward, and payments, messaging, clearing and settlement are often decoupled and can take days. This dichotomy is just un unsustainable. And in response, we're seeing and hearing at, at Cybos how a number of FIs and FI backed consortiums are harnessing blockchain, smart contracts, digital assets to align the performance of banking and payment systems with those of the digital economy. The second takeaway I'd say is that the internet of value is beginning to crystallize. And let me start with a framework. Let's think of the old industrial flywheels that take a lot of energy to make a half turn and a full turn, but once they start turning, there's momentum and it's hard to stop them. So let's overlay adoption of blockchain and digital assets. They've proven value. So part of the first turn, feasibility, certainly. And now we're seeing these use cases get into the bottom of that first turn economic viability. And there's some exciting initiatives we heard about at Cybos around interbank payments, delivery versus payments, for example, correspondent banking, messaging, um, cross-border, interbank, uh, intrabank, intracompany. And importantly, when we get to the ESG, the S part, um, remittances. So lots of interesting energy there. And we're seeing cryptocurrencies like XRP, Stellar Lumens, and stablecoins like USDC playing an important role in getting that wheel to turn and deliver the internet of value. Also, the introduction of central bank digital currencies will accelerate the mainstreaming of digital assets. I'd say my third coming to the, uh, the crown jewel here, cryptocurrencies are gaining legitimacy as a new asset class. When the Bitcoin paper first came out, it was going to be the missing link the internet of value, a medium of exchange. But as we know, Bitcoin failed as a medium of exchange for legal activities. Um, then the pivot was to blockchain, distributed ledger technology as the new disruptor. Now we're seeing Bitcoin as in the lead as a new digital um, asset class, which has profound implications. It's been initially um, driven by retail investors. Now we're seeing institutional investors enter the game. And with institutional investors, you get more sophisticated demand. And that certainly is going to accelerate developments in decentralized finance. 